Hey everyone, my name is GamerCory, and welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Now in today's video, we are going to be going over three different things, and those things include where you guys can go ahead and find Madame Nazar for today. The next thing that we're actually going to go over is all the different collection sets and their current cycles, and then last but not least, we're going to go over all of the daily challenges in extensive detail so that you guys can actually earn as much gold as possible here in Red Dead Online. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started by showing you right where you can find Madame Nazar. So let's go ahead and pull up the map here. And she's actually going to be way out west, at least compared to where I'm currently at. And she's going to be located just south of Twin Rocks. And that will make Armadillo your fast travel destination of choice for today. So if this is the only thing that you guys actually came here for today, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. A like definitely goes a long way here on the channel. It shows your support of these types of videos. It tells me that you want me to continue making these types of videos. And honestly, it just really helps me grow here on YouTube. So spend that two seconds and hit that like and subscribe down below. All right, now that we actually got that out of the way, let's move on to the different collection sets and their current cycles. Now, I'm not necessarily going to go over all of the, the, the details about all the, the changes and whatnot with them. However, I do want to make just a couple of uh, just quick things about it. Now, anything that involves using a field shovel is ultimately affected, which means that you guys will need or you guys will have completely random spots. So the sets I'm about to list off, Whatever that number is going to be is the correct cycle for all the different for that sit for that cycle in that set. However, if it anything that involves using the field shovel will be a completely random area. So you might not find, say, all 15 of the coins. You might only find 12 of the 15 coins for today. You still find 15 coins, but you might not find an entire set. I hope that makes sense. But anyway, let's start with everything that uh, requires using the field shovel and or the metal detector. That is going to be the lost jewelry at cycle number four, the coins at cycle number four as well. We have the arrowheads at cycle number six, the family heirlooms at cycle number six, and then the fossils at cycle number five, which are exclusive to... Oh, there's a legendary animal, you guys. I... Yeah. I... Yeah. It's just chilling there for me. I, look at that. I honestly can't believe that. I am in shock and awe. You know how long we spent in a live stream trying to find this little guy? And like literally, what, two minutes, three minutes into this video, I, I find it. Now the next one I can kill. I might have to load myself up. And then apparently that's a daily challenge for today. Nice. Well, I'm super stoked about that. That's a great way to start this. All right. I really want to check out the outfit for that one. I've been told that it looks really, really cool. I haven't personally seen what it looks like yet, so pretty excited. But anyway, let's move on to the rest of the different collection sets. Uh, we got American Wildflowers at cycle number four. Tarot cards at cycle number six. The antique alcohol bottles at cycle number four. And also the bird eggs at cycle number four as well. So a lot of stuff is going to be um, around cycle number four for today. Pretty much cycle four and cycle six. That's all you really have to remember, especially if you're on Xbox. It's only those two. All right, let's go to move on to the next thing, and that's going to be the daily challenges. I, I can't believe that fox is literally just chilling right there. I, I'm, you guys have like probably could tell that I have literally nothing. To, I don't know what to say. Anyway, let's go ahead and talk about the uh, daily uh, challenge list, and we're going to start with the daily general. We got five Bay Boulette picked. We got five or three complimentary snacks eaten at a saloon. Two gang hideouts cleared. Three players killed with a re repeater in free roam events. We have five Redfin Pickerel caught. We have one self portrait taken. One used an emote on a local. Uh, the Bounty Hunter, which is the only one that allows you guys to get gold. We got two bounties brought in from Lemoyne posters. Three bounty targets saluted. Two bounty targets tagged with tracking arrows. Trader, we got 15,830 distance delivery wagon while travel on a mission. Three donated deadly predator carcasses or skins. And then made $200 money made from trading. Collector roll, we got three arrowheads found, three coins found, three collector maps used. 
Moonshine roll. We got one completed special moonshine recipe. Two moonshine of preferred type sold to a buyer. And then four moonshine. Apparently, I'm getting another daily challenge done. Wow, this is like the easiest day for daily challenges, apparently. Nice. I like it. Anyway, uh, we got four moonshine served to other players at a bar. Uh, we have two uh, hardy tonics used when too hot or too cold. I don't actually own any of those. We got two legendary animal samples taken and then two dated animals revived. Pretty sure that thing has already ran away from me by now, but that's fine. Anyway, let's just talk a little bit about the... Yeah, it's, it's definitely gone. Uh, I was going to revive it. For me. Anyway. Um, you guys can earn 11 gold bars from doing the daily challenges each and every single day. I'd highly recommend doing them if you guys need any amount of gold at all. It is the best way of earning gold here in Red Dead Online. So definitely go ahead and take advantage of that. Uh, there's basically two requirements. One real requirement and one that I'm saying is definitely needed in order to... Uh, walk through these bushes uh, is needed to earn as much gold as possible um, and honestly that is going to be first one is that you need to complete at least one daily challenge for 21 days in a row so just one doesn't matter if it's a daily general or daily roll challenge and then the next requirement in my opinion that you guys will need is that um, you guys have all the rolls purchased and be at least a rank 10 because then you'll have access to 15 daily daily roll challenges each and every single day. That'll give you access to 22 daily challenges, but you can only complete 9 of the roll, and we're going to explain that here in just a moment. Um, so if we take a look at the daily challenges and look at the goals here, you can only complete 9 of them. That's what Rockstar has it capped out for Red Dead Online. But that's okay, because if you complete 9 of them, you get a bonus of 1.5 daily challenges. Hey, how you doing, man? What's up? Uh, I, the legendary marble fox is over there. Go get it. Don't pee. All right. So anyway, uh, you get a bonus for completing both of those. It's easier, in my opinion, to complete the daily rule challenges because if you get all 15 of them or have access to all 15 of them, you can pick the nine easiest ones that you want to complete or the daily general challenges. They're going to be the same for everybody. It doesn't matter... What rank you are, or whatever, it's the same for everybody. Is that a gang hideout? I kind of want to go help that, if that's what that is. I don't think that's what it is. I'll, I'll, I'll just let him do his thing. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and break these guys down in detail. Oh, we're just getting distracted by, like, like no other today right now. Uh, Babe let... So uh, I'm going to show you guys on the map where I like to go. This is going to be found just outside of Valentine. This is my go-to location for these anyway. Uh, we want to go over to Downs Ranch. There we go. Okay. Um, you can find some uh, about here and then a little bit north of that as well. You can also find some right behind this shack there and over here. You can also find some, uh, it's right about in this location here. And then you got a couple that are really close to the cliff. So there's what, seven different locations that you guys are going to pick. Um, if you guys need more, there is, um, I think it's here. I think the other one is down over here somewhere. I think it's, I think it's over here. It's right about there. So those should be pretty close to where you guys need to go. Otherwise, you can find a few more a little bit closer to Valentine up in this area as well. All right, let's move on to the next one. And that's eat three complimentary snacks at a saloon. Does not matter which saloon you go to. Just eat the snacks. Um, you don't even have to buy anything. Just eat the snacks. You're good to go. Two gang hotels cleared. Uh, I'm going to show you guys my go-to route. Uh, we've done this on a live stream way back. Um, I've also used it. Um, for a lot of my needs, but Twin Rocks is one of them. So literally just north of where Mad Nazar is at. There's a rattlesnake, something or another, right here. Next gang hideout is going to be way over in Gap Tooth Ridge, right at this location. Gap Tooth Reach, the mining facility. B of Coronado. Yeah, Sullivan's Foley, right here. Repentance Rock, right there, right here. Then you're going to go up to Fort Mercer. Down to Jorge's Gap, and then back up to 
when rocks and you just keep doing that circle until you get two gang hideouts or you can just randomly find them throughout the world as well three player kills with the repeater and free room events as long as it's pvp related so cold dead hands dispatch rider railroad baron something like that just bring your repeater and actually if you do um railroad baron or dispatch rider you have your horse anyway so it doesn't matter if you bring it in because you'll be able to change out whatever weapons you want red fin pickerel um actually i Oh my gosh, is it bait that they like? Uh, my go-to location for fishing is pretty much right in here. Uh, you can find uh, breadfin pickerel pretty much all around the Dakota River, to be 100% honest. Uh, that's where I like to go. I'm pretty sure it's cheese bait. I don't remember off the top of my head. That's bad. I don't do a lot of fishing lately, any to be 100% honest anymore. Because I don't need to. And the only time you really need to do fishing anymore is to get up your health if you're a newer player. Uh, the next one on the list is going to be a self portrait. So just take any of your camera. It could be the advanced one or the one that you have. Um, and you can do a self portrait. So literally, it's as easy as going into um, here and getting your, your camera out. Then you can just go into self portrait mode. Then you can just go ahead and take a picture. And that's all you got to do, and you're going to get that 0.5 gold. Easy, easy peasy. Uh, the next one on the list, look at that. Two, day, two daily challenges out of the way. We just got to do one more legendary animal, and we got it completed. Awesome. Uh, and then use an emote on a local. It doesn't matter where you guys go to. Uh, if you go to pretty much one of the saloons anyway, there's probably going to be a local in that saloon or really close to that. Um, again, Valentine is probably where I'm going to do this at just because of the Bay Bled as well. So I can get a couple of them done right there. The Bounty Hunter role, like I previously mentioned, I'm going to get disconnected. That's awesome. Um, is the only role that does pay out additionally in gold. So that is pretty awesome. But we're going to have to wait until we can actually get back into Red Dead Online because I don't remember what all the actual daily challenges were. Now that I'm logged back in here, I would be that would be really funny if we happen to find the Marble Fox again. But anyway, let's go ahead and uh, look over the rest of these daily challenges before we get interrupted again. Um, so we've got uh, Bounty Hunter Roll. Two bounties brought in from Lemoyne. So you're looking at San Denis or Rhodes. Three bounty targets looted. So make sure that you guys loot every bounty target that you possibly can. And then two bounty targets tagged with tracking arrows. So this will require you guys to buy that pamphlet. If you guys don't have enough money, don't buy it. It's not worth it. If you have plenty of money and have bought everything else that you could possibly imagine, then go ahead and buy this one. Next on the list is going to be the trader roll, a distance of 15,830 by delivery wagon. Well, on a mission, 838. Um, so that's going to be equivalent to two distant deliveries. We have three donated deadly predator carcasses or skins. Um, you can either do this with like wolves, so timber wolves or gray wolves. Uh, timber wolves are actually really close to where I'm at, um, at, which is by Coulter. Otherwise, you can set up your camp in the Bayou or NWA or end up Bayou to NWA or Blue Water Marsh area, and you guys can pretty much find a ton of alligators. And then two hundred dollars money made from trading, which, as long as you have a full camp, you'll make five hundred dollars a minimum. If you do a distant delivery, it's uh, $625, and then anybody that helps you or if you help somebody else, you get half that. Collector roll, we got three arrowheads found and three coins found. And again, those collector sets are going to be coins at cycle number four and arrowheads at cycle number six. And then three collector maps used. So you could actually use your two collector maps on those if you wanted to. The moonshine roll, we got completed a special moonshine. Uh, mine completed apparently while we were waiting here. But if you just start in Moonshine, it should count towards it. A couple people have said that it hasn't worked for them that way. So I guess I can't even verify it because it's already completed for me. But the next time that this one comes up, I'll try to see what we can do about that. And hopefully I can get some answers for you. Otherwise, if you guys know for sure, then leave a comment down below. We got two Moonshine at Preferred Type sold to a buyer. So sell to anybody but Bert today. So if the time is about to change and you're... I would add the flavoring after you know who's going to be your buyer for sure. Four moonshine served to other players at a bar. It could just be one friend, then you just serve them four times. The naturalist roll is two hardy tonics used when too hot or too cold. You can either buy the pamphlet or purchase these straight from Harriet. 
two legendary animals. You can find them naturally, like I found the marble fox, or you can actually do the missions through Harriet as well. And then you, after you sedate any of the animals that you that you sedate today, you revive them. So that will cost you a little bit of money. So if you buy the hardy tonics and this, you're probably looking at about 50 bucks spending on just to get a gold bar. So it's kind of up to you if you want to do that. But that is all the daily challenges done, gone over, and covered. If you guys do have any questions regarding any of the daily challenges, by all means, leave a comment down below because I'd love to be able to help you guys out if I possibly can. But if you guys did enjoy the video or found it helpful in any way, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys... Stay gaming.